Hey everyone, welcome to the Army Hurwitz podcast show. Today I'm truly honored to have Eyal Rosenberg on the show. Eyal is the co-founder and CEO of Nipendo. Eyal, thanks for being here. Thank you, Amri, for uh, hosting me. I'm really excited to, to be here. So please tell us a little bit about yourself and about what Nipendo does. My background is uh, computer science. Uh, uh, right after I, uh, I, I ended uh, my uh, military service. And uh, since then I was a uh, VP of R&D for a global uh, ERP vendor, BAN ERP. And then uh, I went to my uh, entrepreneurship uh, ventures. And this is my third company. <laughs> as, a, as a founder and entrepreneur. Uh, Nipendo is a robotic process automation platform uh, handling specifically uh, procure to pay processes, actually RFP to pay processes uh, with uh, a target to not only um, be a pipe between a buyer and supplier or not replace any existing ERP capabilities, but augment the ERP uh, uh, hook on to the existing uh, uh, processes and uh, automate it, replace manual work, replace uh, follow-ups and uh, so on. So what influenced you in building Nipendo? Where did, where did that idea came up from? The, the, the idea was uh, kind of an evolution from uh, my era in the ERP uh, space where realizing that everything like ERP manages processes, but uh, the employees become uh, kind of uh, um, slaves to the systems, needing to uh, enter uh, the data, nothing can go uh, outside and nothing is automated. So everything is uh, really tied to the keystrokes and to the ability to, uh, to uh, put the data into the system and only later to uh, enjoy reports and stuff like that. Whereas the concept of uh, automating processes and the ability to uh, use technologies such as uh, machine learning, uh, artificial intelligence and robotic process automation can use the data in order to replace and to uh, offload a lot of the work that people do. And that was the concept of uh, uh, starting uh, Nipendo. Hmm. Obviously, you know, you're as, as the CEO, that's probably the most important role in the company. Um, how do you handle the stress of being the CEO? And do you have some certain kind of a philosophy that helps you, you know, run the ship smoothly? I think uh, as an entrepreneur, it's not just the CEO, but also uh, the leadership. And uh, the leadership uh, requires somebody that thinks with, uh, outside of the, of the box uh, you are a small company, always starting as a small company, growing the company, and you have to uh, revolutionize, you have to surprise, you have to do, uh, uh, you have to inspire, and uh, it's more of a leadership than just the, than management. I think uh, th that's the main concept and the main differentiator between just being a, a CEO to a company uh, versus uh, entrepreneurship, which uh, takes everything from the idea all the way to the market with all the hurdles in between and um, my my philosophy and my my thoughts is that uh, you either um, build to be uh, somebody who stands and uh, lead the company or you're not because other uh, uh, some people can be a great managers and can lead the departments and companies but uh, that the, 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 the stress of, uh, of being a founder and growing a company and leading something uh, to a complete darkness where you are aiming to a target and maybe you are missing, but uh, you need to figure it out and then change the direction. And that should not stress you out because uh, if, you, if you do stress from such uh, things, then maybe entrepreneurship is not, uh, is not the, the fit for, uh, for, for you. <laughs> so I think it's a matter, and, and I personally uh, feel very comfortable in, uh, in doing that and being uh, a leader in, uh, in uh, acting in a complete uncertainty uh, and, uh, and I enjoy it. <laughs>
That's good. That's good. So Nipendo obviously is, is in the ever-growing fintech industry right now. Um, there's been a lot of reports lately that fintech right now, to, uh, 2021, is going to be the era of fintech. Where do you think the fintech industry is going? Are we going to see, is it kind of going into some sort of a bubble or do you think fintech is the real deal right now? I certainly think that uh, it's not a bubble. It's, uh, it's uh, coming from uh, um, a very solid demand and uh, infrastructure where, as I said, you can, you can uh, not only um, computerize, but you can automate a lot of the things that uh, prior to this era wasn't uh, even uh, uh, thought of uh, automating the processes. I'll give you an example of uh, things that we are doing. Um, things like uh, decision making. If you think about 95% of the decision making in the in the in in, in our space at least uh, of uh, invoice reconciliation, payments, and so on, it is all based on existing data. And what the people are doing in order to get uh, to to make the decision is to check back on the existing data. And I, I can I can tell you that uh, uh, hundred percent and uh, and I'm I'm standing behind it of the cases where a person uh, has a has a, a an odd to to make a mistake, the computer will not make a mistake. Hmm. So it's only natural for the computer to replace uh, the decision making in, in the majority of the things that are based on existing information and not requiring any. Um, Processing or uh, or uh, things that are not related with the with the with the actual uh, process and and uh, and uh, um, uh, data that is uh, out there and existing. So that's a, a great example, and a lot of the finance uh, world that we are uh, now replacing is based on people that are doing TDS root decision making based on data that they have to go manually and check and verify and talk with people. But actually this data is existing. If you build it right, you can replace it and you can not only replace it, but uh, uh, make it much more accurate, much, uh, uh, much better. Hmm. So what are going to be Nipendo's next steps as a company? What, what does the future look like for you guys? Um, we're excited to constantly add more uh, capabilities. Where, where we want to stand is uh, to, to address the direct spend of uh, large enterprises, uh, actually uh, achieve what we have uh, uh, currently achieved, is to replace almost 100% of the procure to pay manual uh, work, anything around um, follow-ups, uh, around um, uh, invoice reconciliation, around uh, process governance, which can be automated, uh, things uh, that uh, uh, has to do with uh, dispute resolution, where the system is doing uh, automated dispute resolution with the user and uh, replaces a lot of the, 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 the disputes and the manual uh, engagement around, uh, around discrepancy uh, and um, we, we, we think that this area of B2B interaction between a large enterprise and uh, thousands or tens of thousands of the, the, the suppliers can over 75% of it can be offloaded to robots and to uh, uh, artificial intelligence, which will do, uh, which will improve the process. So that's uh, what we are targeting. We think that uh, we can lead this space. We are, um, uh, I think today, we're the only solution that is, that is built to, to do that out of the box and not um, you know, build it, uh, uh, tailor it uh, per, per customer. And we're excited to, to, to do that. And we're seeing the traction and where, we are, where, where, where it's going and uh, strongly believe we, we, we will be there. That's amazing. That's great. So I've got one last question for you today is, do you have any specific book recommendations for the audience? Something that has helped you throughout your journey? 
Yeah, my recommendation would be to uh, always uh, know and uh, drive to to improve. Um, you know, so in some cases, you see people think that uh, if they automate things and replace manual work, it's going to create um, uh, layoffs and uh, people that are losing their job. But actually, uh, the market is going there, and the best thing to do is to uh, uh, is to upgrade people's activities to things that bring the human value into this uh, into into the, the their uh, occupation world and um, uh, uh, so 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 do that just push the automation it will improve your situation it will uh, uh, improve the, the your corporation situation and uh, long term it will improve people's uh, uh, contribution to, to to the enterprise and not uh, affect them in a bad way hmm. Hey, Al Rosenberg, thank you so much for being on the show. We expect to hear a lot of great news and exciting things from Nipendo. Uh, and thanks for being on the show. Thank you very much. Happy to be here. Bye-bye.